Cuss her mom. Hey everyone. Hey guys. Welcome to Wednesday Night Live. We're it's, back. It's another week. It is another week. We, and, it, and it's rainy outside. It is, which is great to see. Absolutely. It's nice to see some rain. Um, absolutely. So we've had a, an interesting day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we had a nice uh, meeting over lunch and we got to talk a lot about uh, the future of medicine. Yeah. And uh, uh, we feel that Siskiyou Vita Medicine is on the cusp of the future and is, is a, sort of a premonition of what's to come. So I, what do you think about that? I, I think so that would be agree? a really accurate way of describing it. When I look at the, the current model of the healthcare system mm -hmm. and what I see is more and more people becoming disenchanted with the, kind, the, the, the lack of quality of care that they're getting. Mm -hmm and the options that they're offered. And, um, and what I see us doing is, uh, I think a, a nice title would be um, community-based medicine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think more and more people are interested in a community-based community medicine model, such as what we're doing here in, under the guise of direct primary care. Right, yeah. And, and, and really, I think community-based the magic of community-based medicine is in the relationship. Exactly. Right. It's it's yeah. it's forming a really strong relationship between practitioners and members or patients, and getting down to what is really important in our lives together, um, and what is going to best serve us um, health-wise, and what's the root cause of illness. Exactly. And, and, and then Siskiyou Vita Medicine's model of the direct care, um, we're able to, to really drill down into that and address some foundational wellness issues, um, or foundational wellness barriers, rather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we look at lifestyle. Um, we have time to look at lifestyle. We have time to talk about nutrition. We have time to talk about sleep. Um, stress management. Yeah, we're, we talk about stress management all the time. Mm -hmm. Even on the Wednesday Night Lives, we're talking about how to mitigate stress, mm -hmm. how to manage stress. Um, but, the, but the model is really interesting in that um, we start looking at, at somebody and at, in, at the community in a 360 degree view, mm -hmm. um, taking in all parts of um, a person, mental, emotional, spiritual, physical, um, you know, social, yeah. financial. Yeah. The whole human being. The whole human being. Like, what stresses you out? Maybe it be finances. Maybe it's work. Maybe it's family. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe it's an illness. But we're mm -hmm. looking at, you know, how do we come together and support each other um, to be healthier? And in the long run, what it's going to do is it's going to lower health costs. So there's a there's a uh, there's a problem right now, like you said, in the healthcare system where yeah. people are be, being disenfranchised, where they don't feel like they're being served or they're feel they're being heard. Right, exactly. And when you look at, I mean, it's talking of healthcare costs, when we look at healthcare costs, we're operating under a $2.7 trillion um, healthcare industry. $2.7 trillion. 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 So just kind of wrap your mind around wow. that. So, but the, the amazing thing about that is 86% of that, yeah. $2.2 trillion, uh, would, it would be 86% of $2.7 trillion. Uh, that is going towards um, conditions that are lifestyle, nutrition, and mental health related. Yeah. So we're looking at, at, at the major, the vast majority of the cost of our healthcare system is on nutritional and lifestyle issues that could be prevented. Mm. And then mental health issues that could probably be uh, prevented or better treated. Right. So we're looking at prevention. We're looking at prevention. Yeah. So, and Which that's a big deal. Obviously, it's a 2.2 trillion big deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal. <laughs> that is a huge deal. And that's sort of like what we're biting off here at yes. Siskiyou. We're looking at how do we prevent this from happening? How do we prevent all of us from um, being um, dependent on pharmaceuticals? You know, you look at people over the age of 65, the majority of them are on five or more medications. Right, which all come with side effects. And which are treating uh, preventable diseases that, you know, have, that we should have been looking at in, in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s mm -hmm. 
and, and, and trying to mitigate those health risks through preventative wellness models like Siskiyou Biomedicine mm -hmm. um, to keep you off of drugs like that. You know, and, and drugs aren't, I'm not saying drugs are bad, but when you have to take five or six pills a day, you know, that's that sort of limits your ability to enjoy your life. It, it, it works into, um, on your wallet, on your financial situation. Because they're not cheap. They're not, they're not cheap, but they're not really addressing, the majority of the time, they're really not addressing the root cause of illness. So, um, they are symptom based. So while, yeah, but they're, like I said, they're not evil. They, they, they sort of get you out of a tough spot sometimes, mm -hmm. but isn't it better to sort of, um, fix the check engine light, you know, like see what's going on under the engine instead of just putting a piece of tape over it or unplugging the light bulb, <laughs> you know, or instead of continually airing up a, a leaky tire, just fix the flat get a new tire just get it or get a new tire but at least patch it you yeah. know um and so that's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at and um and the direct care model is really and, and a lot of you know the direct car, direct care model is really um nice in that it allows us time to work on those things without being cost prohibitive right exactly it allows you it allows the patient to come in and get Quality care, a, a significant portion of time, 45 minutes to an hour, with either one of us, mm -hmm. where we can really get in and do the, the work that's necessary to, for healing. Yeah, and, and you talk about options. And, and um, options, options in, in our practice are abound. So we have lots and lots of options. And the reason we have lots and lots of options is because we do lots of training. Mm -hmm. um, naturopathic medicine, functional medicine, um, conventional medicine. So we look at all of these different systems of, of um, uh, healthcare deliveries. So whether it be drugs, surgery, nutrition, supplements, body work, mindfulness, mm -hmm. um, w you know, we, we have a, a purview of all of those things. So if, you, if you're a member here, if you come here, or if you want to come here, we have so many things to offer you outside of what you're offered conventionally. And what's offered conventionally is what insurance covers. So what the FDA, FDA approves and what insurance um, companies cover is what you're going to get. Um, but there are things that have been used for millennia that mm -hmm. the FDA doesn't recognize. Um, mm -hmm. The conventional medical system is getting better, but they traditionally don't recognize nutrition as, as a cause of illness, right? The diabetes at one time was, was not curable, but we know now through exercise and nutrition, we can cure diabetes. Mm -hmm. uh, at one time, uh, you know, conventionally, this was even like 10 years ago, um, probiotics were thought of as being, you know, quackery, but now you can't get away from probiotics. They're everywhere. That's right. Um, the significance of the microbiome is becoming well uh, established and recognized. Well established. So. You know, alternative practitioners are kind of ahead of the game. Always have been. Um, and they look back in time because they look at what, what works mm -hmm. and then what makes sense biochemically. And what we're really interested in is is the biochemistry. It's like what is going on in the body, what's going on, what happened traditionally. And there's a lot of wisdom there. And then how do we perceive all of that? Mm -hmm. So how do you overlay that? And, and it's, it, it's difficult. It is difficult throughout time because we all have preconceived notions about our situations in life. But now in modern times, um, in today's world, we're looking at, you know, financial stress. We're looking at, um, you know, working all the time. Like we're, we, we have chronic stressors that we've never had in past history. Exactly. We're, we're, we've created an alien world, right? So we're living sort of in, and, uh, um, I've been watching some YouTube videos, um, with a neurosurgeon, his name is Jack Cruz, and, and uh, thank you, Susan Rutherford, for um, turning me on to Jack. But you know, we're living in blue light, we live in Wi Fi, and these things are really affect the body, and no one's talking about that yet. Right. But alternative practitioners have started to talk about that, yeah, and um, the importance of getting back into circadian rhythm. So, people with a lot of insomnia issues. You know, getting up in the morning and seeing the morning light, mm -hmm. getting away from computer screens and laptops and, you know, your devices and getting away from that blue light will help the melatonin production in, in the body. So 
I mean, we can already see the effects from a lot of people complaining of insomnia. That's right. That's right. Or chronic fatigue syndrome. Or, you know, we're moving away from inflammatory diseases into like chronic diseases. Um, where I mean, what I mean by that is the flu used to kill us, right? So historically, the plague, the flu, cholera, um, big thing, uh, big inflammatory uh, illnesses would take us out, would, would, would kill us. But now we're, we've moved away from that, and now we're into these metabolic issues, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, mm -hmm. uh, autoimmune conditions. And so now we're all in these chronic inflammatory states, which is just perpetuated by our environment, right? Exactly. And, you know, one of the beauties of, of, of what we have the opportunity to do with people is get to know them, understand their lifestyle, yeah. understand the way that they eat, the way that they think, the way that they feel, a bit of their history. And then based on that information, we're able to, through each of our trainings, to look at what are the possible common denominators here as far as underlying causes and mm -hmm. trace that back in the physiology yeah. so that we can work up the chain and get to the root cause rather than treating just symptoms. There's nothing worse than chasing symptoms. Yeah, that's like throwing darts in the dark. Yeah, I don't like chasing symptoms. I like to do the, the, the foundational stuff so we get the, the body and the mind and the spirit all aligned working together um, strategically, and then symptoms sort of just kind of start falling away. You know, that is such an accurate way of saying it. I was at a functional endocrinology seminar mm -hmm. uh, about a decade ago, and then I just went to a functional uh, blood chemistries uh, seminar this past weekend. And there mm -hmm. was uh, a major theme that cropped up this weekend that reminded me of the seminar I was at a decade ago, and that is that when you start to look at the major physiological stressors, there's, there's about five deal breakers that I've been able to identify uh, that, that most symptoms radiate out from, cardiovascular and blood sugar. And that those, those are anemia, mm -hmm. um, adrenal stress and blood sugar dysregulation, liver detoxification issues, mm -hmm. and uh, fatty acid metabolism issues. And if, if those five are uh, dealt with, and sorry, gut, yeah. and gut issues, so gut inflammation, uh, eating foods that we're allergic to or having leaky gut, anything of that nature. So if any of those five are happening and you deal with those, the vast majority of symptoms that people experience are going to fall away mm -hmm. just from those five. Yeah. That's, uh, it's incredibly simple and incredibly complex all at the same time. Right, because there are no a lot of these aren't uh, you know easy issues. And yeah, and, and that's the thing; they're not easy, right? So changing your diet is not easy. Healing leaky gut. Changing a habit that you've had for a really long time, or <laughs> all the good feelings and memories that you have around a particular food or activity that you like to do, you know, th those things are really hard because that's ingrained in us. That's right. And uh, and, and that's the tough work, but. You know, that's, that's what I love about the direct care model that we have, is that we're able to, to take the time and do that tough work. I also like that, um, you know, every time someone comes in for an appointment that we don't charge them, right? There's right. no charge for an appointment. Um, uh, and then we're able to text, we're able to call, we're able to email. Yeah. And there's no barrier to care. That's right. And I, I think that's the future, right? So if we can eliminate the barriers to care and all get on the same page and start talking about these issues, we can start talking about you know, the quality of our food, um, the quality of our environment. Um, how do we, we, how do we relate to one another? Right. You know, how do we come back together as a community, um, as friends, as neighbors and support one another? Um, and, and I think this has, and you're seeing symptoms of this through, you know, social media and the news. I mean, if you turn on the TV, it's just, it's mind blowing. It's depressing. It's, it's terrifying. It's anger and, you know, it inspires anger. Um, but, you know, let's get rid of all that stuff and come back and have real conversations with one another. And um, and I think that the, this model really fosters that, that relationship and fosters the ability and provides the access to the care that we mm -hmm. all need. That's right. Um, that we all want, right? Because I think at a direct primary care practice, you're no longer a number. You're no longer just a cog in the system. You're really... 
a unique individual. And I really love the members that we have here at Siskiyou um, because they all feel like family. Mm -hmm. You know, you really mm -hmm. get to know somebody mm -hmm. and they just bring a, a certain personality to the practice or they bring, you know, a certain sweetness or whatever it is. It really just, I find myself, we find ourselves talking about it all the time, how wonderful it is. And, um, and it, it really is becoming a large family. It is, you know, when, when we heal on an individual level, that brings healing into the community. Yeah. And, and, and as we work with individuals, we can also work with, we can work with it as a community level. And yeah. I think that's where like our classes are going to be going too, mm -hmm. is that it starts creating community yeah. uh, within the clinic. And, mm -hmm. and when, you know, the whole goal here is that each person is seen for who they authentically are and, and accept it for that. Mm -hmm. And that's huge healing in and right. of itself. Right. And, uh, and we're all in it together. That's right. Right. That's right. Yeah. Um, I hear stories of all, all the time about how doctors yell at patients or dictate to their patients what they're going to do. And it's no, it's my way or the highway. And I really like that our approach is like meeting somebody where they're at and asking, how may I serve you? Um, because really I'm, we're in a service-based industry. That's right. Right. I'm here to, right. to be of service. That's why we got into this. That's exactly it. What we got into it because we were here to serve. Right. We wanted. We want to help people get better. We want to help people heal. Right. And that's that doesn't uh, that doesn't. Um, I guess the word I'm looking for it doesn't mean that we we just tell people what to do. That's not the way it, it goes. Right. It's like how can we help you? What can I do for you today? What do you need? Right. And and go so from a, there. It's a team effort. It's a collaboration. Collaboration. Yeah. And and the, the um, I wanted to say something more about that collaboration in that uh, with each one of your memberships, you help somebody else gain access yes. to your membership. Mm. So even though you may not be coming in every month or you may not have a health issue at this moment your membership is allowing others in our community to experience the care here at Siskiyou. So um, your contribution has um, ripple effects throughout the community. Right. And it's really changing a lot of lives. And it's going to change the healthcare system. It really is going to revolutionize the way we all receive healthcare in this country. And, and really what that comes down to is better care for um, reasonable prices. That's right. And care that looks at um, long-term health strategies that are sustainable and mitigating um, chronic illness yep right exactly and that, and that is the future because we are in the future of chronic illness right now we are and the mainstream model does not have the adequate tools to, or the time or the time to um, to care for and reverse chronic conditions yeah. which we do and that's and that's the the beautiful thing about this so yes your membership definitely serves you but it serves so much more, more. than just you you're, you're actually uh, helping create a health care or a health delivery system revolution is what you're really doing absolutely absolutely and I'm super proud to um, to, to be of service for all of you and I, I thank you so much for for being here and making this possible and uh, you guys are gonna see some really um, Unique things happen in the in the healthcare field within the next five years, mm -hmm. and we hope to be at the forefront of all that, uh, leading the way. Exactly. So you guys are making it possible. So thank you so much. Starting here in the Rogue Valley. That's it. It's that a magic place. <laughs> it is. It really <laughs> it is. is. Thank you, everybody. I think that's our time. Isn't that's it? our time. We're gonna end that tonight. Um, we have a, a meeting tonight, so we're gonna cut it short. But really, heartfelt thank you yeah. to all of you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. All right. Cheers. Good night. Good night. Bye.